Hello, everyone. Yeah, you hear that bell ringing? You know what time it is. It's time for some Dark Souls. And yeah, that bell ringing is starting to get a little bit annoying. Let's get away from it, shall we? Away from it and right into Sense Fortress. And this place has traps. As you can see from the little raised thing on the floor here. Pressure plate. Okay. Let's see if we can get one of our snake friends over here. Yes, we can. And we trigger the trap, and the trap does our job for us. <laughs> Use them traps against your enemies. Yes. <laughs> Alright. For some reason, the chat isn't working on the uh, Twitch dashboard. I'm gonna have to have a look at that, maybe. Who knows? How about you? Do you want to hang Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I already triggered the trap, so... I'm gonna have to smack you the old-fashioned way. I didn't like that it hit me, but... That's the thing. <laughs> Alright. Or careful, because the stagger apparently only happens of the once. Gotta leave it like that. Alrighty. Ah, oh, for the love of... I'm already getting invaded. <laughs> Sup? Come on. <laughs> Alright, let's be courteous about it. We'll say hello. <laughs> oh, god <damn> it. <laughs> I had hoped. I had hoped. <laughs> Ah, it's like the moment I start the stream, I immediately get ganked. That's... Dick move. Dick move. <laughs> Alright. Alright. That snake friend comes to us. Come on, snake friend. Oh, look at it. Being all clever-like. <laughs> okay. And now the other one. And then, um... No, I'm not going to bother to go back to being human. Because that just means I'll get ganked again. So, we're going to be not human. <laughs> right up until we get to the boss. Uh, then, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. If for some reason you were watching the uh, Portuguese podcast stream um, yesterday, good on you. Why would you do that if you don't speak Portuguese? But hey, hey, hey. <laughs> And of course, this is a video game. I always hate this part because, oh look, you know, it's a video game. It's gotta have dangling blades over a bridge that goes down and where that thing will try to kill me. Oh God. Okay. 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 You. Yes, and away we go. Alrighty. Well, that snake got out. <laughs> that snake got knocked down, and I got hit by the lightning from the other snake because apparently the Jaffa Cree 
have mastered the art of um, lightning. <laughs> Hello, leave a request. Uh. I would very much like it if that dude stuff with the lightning. Okay, it did stop with the lightning. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> Go on, fall. Goodbye. And mind the pressure plate. It's a really inconvenient place to put the pressure plate. Um, this one's not a mimic. Okay. <laughs> Two large tight night shards. <laughs> and down here we have uh, a sleeping snake boy up against the wall, which uh, people sometimes kill him using the uh, big boulders from upstairs. There it is. <laughs> yes, so there's a Indiana Jones style gigantic boulder that comes and fucks up your life because it's that kind of game. <laughs> and um I need the boulder anyway to knock down the wall so I can uh, rescue NPC person. So I'm just gonna bolt. <laughs> Please stop rolling. <laughs> stop rolling and hit the damn snake. <laughs> Uh, this one's not a mimic either. Oh, it's a ring of steel protection! Which is the first ring that I'll gladly trade the tier zone ring for. It's like, oh, less damage, how nice. Hidden path ahead. Okay. Scooch. Oh, God. Damn it. <laughs> But, uh, speaking of hidden paths, I do need to find a certain hidden path right down there. I'm just gonna wait for the boulder to drop. There it goes, and... Let's go talk to our friend, the Onion Knight. <laughs> oh, I dropped, um, too low. I couldn't get that item. I'll just go back up, that's fine. Hmm. Hmm. I was absorbed in thought. I am Dietmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall for a ball to be precise. Oh, that ball? those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> ah, because he's fat, get it? Self-deprecation. <laughs> nah, the onion boy. Uh, He's a nice boy. My head will spin. Hmm. Perhaps I could try some yoga. Fuck. Let's go. My head will spin. Hmm. Okay, that's it. All right. If that's all you're telling me, then I shall attempt to dodge the boulders once again, so I can get the item that's up there on the thing. Oh shit 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh and drop the other one Okay now the item is here Yes <laughs> It's a shuttle. 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 
I don't know. <laughs> Names, man. Names. <laughs> I have vitamin C. No, no. <laughs> Plenty of antioxidants, too, but no, no. You really don't want to eat the onion knight. He's a good friend to have. Even if his story, uh, spoilers, doesn't end so well. <laughs> and away we go! This time for realsies. Another fake uh, white light. No enemies waiting to attack me? Huh? That's nice. <laughs> Alright, snake buddy. I uh, thought that was going to spawn on the other side. I was wrong. <laughs> Yeah, the hole is there. I thought it was on the other wall, so I was trying to trick it with the uh, the snake boy. Did not work so well for me. Oh, someone spun the uh, thing. Ooh, ooh, that timing. <laughs> Okay, so now we too can spin the thing and send the boulders going eh, somewhere else. Could send them going down there, but they just fall in the pit, and that's not uh, not that's not where I'm going for. I would like the ball, Mr. Giant up there. Can I see the giant from here? Whoop. Down it goes, it uh, runs over the snake, doesn't kill it, but runs over the snake. Makes you feel a little, little bit better. And let me check if there's anything here, I don't think so, it's just a drop where it was going earlier. Cool beans. So that's the way forwards, but before I go there, I'm gonna go and... Um, Tango with that snake that didn't die when the massive, great big massive boulder didn't um, trample him fully. It does not open from this side. Oh. Neither. Oh, this one's open. All right. Okay. Are down here then? elevator that doesn't stop and leads you right into spikes. Welcome to Dark Souls. <laughs> Alright. So, assuming the boulders are not being scooched down here. Assuming. Big assumption to make, but yes, okay. You, Mr. Snakey Boy. Oh, that was a dick move. <laughs> Let me just heal a second. Okay, um, let's go fight here. Hmm? <laughs> Didn't take much to kill him, but I I, I wanted to be sure. Anywho. Oh, we got ourselves some cages. But here's a cage with a person in it. Hello, person. You seem quite easy. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is melting my mind. Inactivity is repressive. Repressive. Uh, here's the master key, and now let's talk to Master Logan. Oh heavens! Thank you. I say, and I love to resume my travels, but I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. 
I will return to the Firelink Shrine. Speak with me then, so that I may impart my sorcery. And impart you shall. Oh, hello. I'll be lovely. Whoa, I'll be just fine. Okay. Got it? Oh, hello. Cool beans. Um, I think one of these is a shortcut to uh, the entrance that I mm, honestly don't much care to take right now, but. Soul of a Hero. And here I believe we have. Well, we have a nice view of the entrance there, um, but not much of anything else. Uh, so. Are you the shortcut? No. Okay, are you the shortcut? No. Alright, that's Master Logan. And are you the shortcut? Maybe there isn't even a shortcut here, and it's further high up. I thought it was here, but maybe not. No. How about you? Last one too, so... Nope. It's uh, the next set of cages, apparently. Because that one's a little too far away for me to open. Cool. Cool. Uh, right. There goes the boulder. Whoa! Okay. Oh, that's right. Someone changes the. Um I ran into the ball and I got. Um <laughs> I got damaged by that stupid, stupid hitbox. Yeah, I saw that thing up there, but I'm not going to tangle with it right just yet. First... I'm going to wait here. Okay, I guess I just needed to come down here to do that. Now they're piling up. All right. And now there's no stopping the next one. <laughs> Through the wall and out it goes. Oh, yes. And the covetous gold ring. Stay. Careful. <laughs> what does the covetous gold ring do? Um, the serpent is an imperfect dragon and symbol of the undead. Its habit of devouring prey even larger than itself has led to an association with gluttony. This gold ring engraved with the serpent boosts its wearer's item discovery so that more items can be amassed. Do I just get more items if I have it on me? That's nice. Let's get some item discoverability then. And I do not believe there's anything down that corridor where these boulders go. Let me check. No, okay. Didn't make it in time. <laughs> And this, this chest that's um, smack in the middle of the room is the first mimic of the game. Let me see if I have some amulets to throw at it. I do! So, let's equip them amulets. There. And... Uh, 
go ahead and throw one. Ah. Open wide. Go on. Open wide. Give me your item. <laughs> I didn't give me the um, little glowy bit for the item, so that that that's annoying. The lanky mimics of Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna let it get away. I wanted to see if the amulet worked proper. Okay, so now we wait for the elevator that kills you if you don't roll away fast enough. Right here. Okay. <laughs> no killing this time around. And it lands us right here. Down that way. Already. Actually, since we're here. There. Now they go out that window over there, and I can go down here and um, take care of that snaky boy that was throwing lightning at me. That one right there. I landed a hit. Not entirely sure how, but I landed a hit. <laughs> right. And what do we have here? That could totally be a, um, a secret passageway, but it, it is not. And the black sorcerer hat. And the hush sorcery. So now we have the sorcerer um, set of armor and the black sorcerer set of armor. Let's see. There was another way. There. I believe. Oh, this one just leads down into the... Ah, the bottoms of the pits. Uh, which I don't want to go... Not yet. Anyway, um, there's really not all that much of interest down there, and it, it's very dangerous. I'm a bit scared. A little bit. <laughs> the thing is still being knocked out of the window there, which is nice. It's very, very nice. Um, okay. was that trap uh, and now uh, we're almost halfway through so of course there's more uh, swinging blades try dashing through yeah you have to dash through the key Ooh, ready is the timing Oh, hello, snaky boy. It's quite enough of that. Oh, there's another snaky boy at the top of the stairs. Alright, um... I don't want the snaky boys to hurt me. I will cheese you. Oh, the snaky boy came down the stairs. Assholes. All of you. But no, I'm totally going to cheese the uh, the stagger of the first hit on the uh, the big uh, sword swinging snaky boys. I have absolutely no shame since the game has absolutely no shame in throwing that bullshit at me, uh, then I'm going to abuse the, um, the stagger on the snaky boys. Sorry, not sorry. 
Okay, this bit's annoying, because that snaky boy is going to be shooting lightning, and I have to get the timing just right to get through those blades. Dicks! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps the toughest part on, um... Or in Sense Fortress. It hisses, I could have gone. But I chose not to, because I'm a big old scaredy cat. <laughs> I noticed that trap a little too late. <laughs> Alright, snakey boy. Kay. My sword's a bit too big to be swinging around these places. I don't remember if I'd die if I jump down there, but I don't want to jump down there just yet. First, I want to go across the second uh, fake light. And now, we're outside. <gasps> Praise the sun. Wherever it is. Um, right. Nothing there. Mm. Oh, hello there, Mr. Bowler Knight. You're a bit stronger than your friends from earlier, aren't you? Not that much. Titanite shard, always appreciated. Might, uh, you know, might be nice to get a another weapon going. Mm -hmm. How about you, Boulder friend? No. <laughs> a large Titanite shard. Ah, these guys are just dropping. Okay, this one's not a mimic. And the flamestone plate ring, which protects you, as the name would indicate, against fire. Not against stone plates. <laughs> yeah. So, um, considering I had two rings up until now, uh, I'd found two, and ever since I came into Sen's Fortress, I've already found three. The Ring of Steel Protection, the Covetous Gold S Serpent Ring, and the, uh, uh Flame Stone Plate Ring. Okay. Whoa! That's a bit loud. <laughs> it just keeps getting louder. Alright, gotta get through this area quick then. Whoop, 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 whoop. And down here! Okay! <laughs> wow, that is loud. Uh, right. PC settings. No. Where's the audio settings? Ah, uh, there it is. Sounds. Bring that down a little bit. Eesh! <laughs> ah, that was loud. That was really loud. <laughs> Okay, we'll keep it like that for now, because, ooh, that, that was louder than I expected. That was loud in my ears. Uh, right, so, found a bonfire. Let's have a, a bit of a sit down here, and I do have 12,000 souls, and as you can see, or not see in this case, uh, the sword that I'm using is not available to be upgraded anymore. But it was still at plus nine when I last ended the stream. Well, that's because I I couldn't let it be at plus nine, so I went around and I found another um, large uh, Titanite shard and I upgraded it to plus ten. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Eh, nothing I can really upgrade, so let's just do the repair. There it is. Claymore plus ten. And repair the Night Gauntlet and the Wanderer Boots and the Armor of the Glorious and the gar Gargoyle Helm. Yes. Uh, and since we have some souls, get ourselves a bit more strength. Ooh, look at that right weapon damage. 299. I need me some Josh Walworth to go, 299! <laughs> Anywho, everything's respawned now, so I gotta remember that. And yes, that is the only way to get to that bonfire and you always have to do the little droppy here and then go all the way back up 
while dodging the um, giant that throws the massive flame balls. Hey! He threw it, all right. <clears throat> Right, I'm gonna go into the tower to take care of that giant, like, yesterday. Hello. I remembered you. Boulder Knight. Just because you have a bit more HP, you still suck. <laughs> uh, there is uh, the Homeward Bone. Which is unfortunately nowhere near as sexy as it sounds. But, uh, yes, it is a bone that you use, and it will teleport you to, um... The Bonfire. Why do I keep forgetting the name? Bonfire. Anywho. Ah, this is the elevator. Well, this is the elevator. It's locked. I can't even unlock it with the master key. <gasps> Gotta find the actual key. But I don't remember how to get the actual key. Right. Uh, so. I'll go tango with you later. Not right now. And uh, with the other person that's hiding in that tower. Um, well, not all the way up in that tower. That's, uh, that's where the summon uh, of the NPC helper for the boss is. But we're not going to go for the boss just yet. First, I need to run, otherwise that uh, giant's going to hit me with one of those giant explodey balls. Like that. <laughs> giant explodey balls, and that, that is the actual fog gate for the boss. But the camera's shaking a little bit too much, so we're gonna go take care of that. Which is, um... It's another joke enemy, uh, you just need to get it to rage at you. Go on, rage at me. I think that qualifies. Yes. Now he's tired, so... He gets a big old smack. Ah, I couldn't kill him fast enough. <laughs> there he goes. Okay. I thought the plus 10 uh, claymore was enough to kill him on the first go around, but apparently not. Okay. These are the giant explodey balls that he was throwing at me. So, now he's dead and he's not gonna... Oh, look, there's the boss. <laughs> uh, the Iron Golem. That, it, no, not a statue. The actual boss. That's the tower where the summon is, but I need to be human uh, before I go and get that summon. Ooh, there's another thing uh, that you can see from up here. That is the giant that's dropping those balls that trample people on the way up. You can also jump from that little lip there and uh, go and kill him, but he keeps respawning, so it's a bit pointless. Um, what I don't remember, because there is a third giant um, out front, uh, which is the one that opens the, uh, the gate into Sen's Fortress when you ring the second bell of awakening. I'll try and find the way there, uh, in a moment. I just want to make sure there's nothing else in this tower. Okay, the summon sign is, uh, round here somewhere. But we shall get to that later. See a big ladder there, so you know that that's a way you can go. That was up to the Raging Giant. Uh, that goes down into where we started. So, don't want to fall down there. And carefully around the thing. I 
could totally make that jump, but if I miss, I'll fall all the way down there. <laughs> so, let's go around. I'll take the, sh the long way around, it's fine. Gorgeous view. Eh. Eh. I mean, you can see like all the different uh, districts, I suppose, that are separated by the, uh, the walls of Lordran. But we need to go down a bit more and around a bit more. Where was the way to that snaky boy? Oh, that's across the gap, isn't it? You have to jump the gap to get to the snaky boy. Or you can jump down there and go and kill that giant, but uh, you, you need to jump across that gap there. So. Before we do that, I'm actually going to loot that item that I ran past on the way up because I didn't want to get hit by one of the giant flaming balls. <laughs> Great balls of fire. There we go. <laughs> Finally landed that one. Okay. Now, that dude. Baronike Knight, I think they're called. Very damaging, but very, very slow on those swings. Just gotta be careful with judging the distance, otherwise he will smack the living shit out of me. <laughs> Look at him being careful now. <laughs> Steel armor! Nice! And down we go. 9,000 souls. I could use a few more, to be honest, because across that little gap, enemy ahead. It is Dark Souls, so that is to be expected. But this one is a special enemy. He's got a bow. <laughs> And he's wearing uh, the elite knight armor, and he's got a unique rapier. Possibly his? He may have stolen it from its original um, user. But whatever the case may be, that is a very unique NPC. And a bit of a bitch, if we're being honest. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Prince Rickard, put that rapier down. Or, you know what? Give me that rapier. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Rickard's rapier. There it is. A rapier with intricate decorations. A chosen weapon of the infamous undead Prince Rickard. Rickard's exploits are told uh, in a monomyth. He was born into royalty but wandered the lands in a fateful, ill-conceived journey. He became undead and wandered up north. North. To Lord Ran. So, that may be him, that may not be him. We shall never know. But, this is uh, that tower that we were just on the top floor of, and I just want to make sure these are both chests and not, uh, ooh, rare ring of sacrifice. And a divine blessing. Um, yeah. It's very uncommon that the game just gives you two chests, like... Yeah, there you go. A bit of a reward for exploring. It's like, what are you doing to me, Dark Souls? I don't... I don't trust you at the best of times. That... 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 Mm. <laughs> no. Okay, so that's this side. Trying to find the way. Uh ha ha. Wait, no. I guess the only way down is to. I honestly don't know. Uh, that person there is fighting Prince Rickard. Um. Is there a place I can drop down from here? I don't think so. No. Oh, 
is it the uh, uh i think it might be the secret um secret passageway door thingy uh that's that you get into oh there it is there's the third giant that's the one that opens the gate you can kill it too that's yeah we're not playing the good guys here <laughs> not playing the good guy at all um right Uh, yeah, I think you might have to come from um, all the way down. There's a couple of secret passageways that uh, let you get up there. But I do believe that if I make that jump across the uh, little stone bridge there... Don't confuse your Estus Flask with your Estrus Flask? No. <laughs> I mean... Uh, the it's easy not to make that confusion if you remember that Estus is bestus. Always. <laughs> right. Me and my uh, skinny, skinny undead complexion here. Eh, it's not light enough yet. There we go. Okay. Now we're jumping like a boy, so let's. I always failed this jump. You know what? I'm gonna heal before. Because I may have a chance to survive if I don't make this jump and I'm at full health. That's my reasoning anyway and I'm sticking to it. Right! Let's go. Ooh, do not fall. I did it! <laughs> Jumping in Dark Souls is always, um... interesting. Hello, Mr... Baronike Knight. Yes, this is one of those other knights that hasn't gone uh, hollow yet, but he's almost there. Oh, helping me with my soul searching, are you? And he sells black fire bombs, titanite shards, large titanite shards, and green titanite shards. Green titanite shards are kind of important if you're trying to create an elemental weapon. And he sells the great sword, the actual great sword, which weighs twice as much as my um, claymore. Um. But I do like big chunky swords. I might buy that. Uh, let's see, what else? Some bolts and some arrows. Ooh, look at what he sells. He sells the set uh, of the Onion Knight, the set of Katarina, and his own set of armor that he's using, which is much cheaper. We already have the steel armor, so we could totally buy the rest. Uh, he sells the Boulder Knight set as well. Yeah, I want to buy the Katarina stuff, but that's 27, 34,000. I need 20,000 souls and some change. And the Thunder Stone Plate Ring and the Spell Stone Plate Ring. Very, very important ones. Protection against magic and against lightning. Nothing at all. Fine then. I've seen like a naked babe and be skinned alive. Well, I am naked, and I am a babe. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, let's see. I think I have... Soul of a Hero gives me... 10,000. Okay, so that's, that's already 10,000 out of the way. Brave Warrior. That's 8,000? 8,000. 3,000 more. And I can buy the complete set of Katarina. Uh, do, 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 do. Brave Warrior. That should do it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> And, uh, thank you very much, X Salty. I didn't, um, see the little thingy because I was paying attention to the game, but thank you. 
Uh, right. Knights of Katarina, then. <laughs> uh, it's going to take some, uh... Well, it's going to take a lot of leveling up to be able to fully wear it, but... Go along, try and make something of yourself. But nothing will come of it. And I should know. And you should know. Actually, uh, since I lowered the rest of the things, I can actually increase the voice audio. That way, everyone can enjoy. <laughs> hmm? Ah, oh, you. Still alive. Not a surprise. Anything you want, what mine is yours. But I look right. And yes, the reverb is intentional. It doesn't sound particularly good, but it's intentional. What say. I'm finished. We're both on the brink, you see. End of story. You bloody fool. You're a bloody fool. Let me give you a nibble of advice. Don't even consider visiting Anor Londo. Not in your state. Oi. For a century they've tried and failed. The Night King Renlor, Black Iron Tarkas, and even Logan himself. You won't stand a chance, you'll be eaten alive. The Night King Randall. Go along. Black Iron Tarkas. If only to deepen Actually, Black Iron Tarkas made it. And he leaves his um, summoning sign behind. That's the NPC that we can summon for the fight against the Iron Giant. Uh, Let me give you a nip. Don't even consider for a cent the Night King. Yeah, yeah. Black Iron Tarkas, and he, you won't stop it. Even Logan himself. Well, we did point? rescue Logan, so that right there already bodes very well for us. Right, let me actually see how much the um, Knight of Katarina armor weighs. Uh, Katarina leggings. There it is. Uh, 6.9, so... Only just slightly more, um... Only just slightly heavier than the, um... The knight... Leggings, but... I don't think I'm gonna get, a get away with it. I, I probably won't even be able to move properly. Steel armor, boulder armor, Katarina armor. Eh, it's over 50%, so I'll be fat rolling, but at least I'll be able to move. Katarina helmet. Well, how about that? Look at me. I'm the Onion Knight. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep now. I, uh, I'm not sorry. I'm really not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fat rolling all the way. Um, okay. You know what? I'm gonna wear it uh, for a little bit, anyway. Down the very narrow steps in a very fat armor we go. <laughs> for I am the Onion Knight. And I do believe, I say I do believe, that item behind that snaky boy there is the key that I'm looking for. Okay, cinnamon toast hell that I come back to. Hello then, I am the Onion Knight. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> you know, fat rolling or not, I still managed to roll through that spell without taking damage. <laughs> <laughs> the cage key! Exactly what I was looking for. Th that is also, if you don't start the game with the master key, um, that is also the key that you need in order to free Logan. But, I only need it to open the shortcut um, elevator to the start of um, Sense Fortress. <sighs> One of these days I'll be able to get through a sentence without having to think about it too hard. But that day is not today. Today, my job is to get across here. Again. Well, I don't need to jump across. I can actually just fall. Fall right onto the stairs. Uh, go to the bonfire there. Become human. And go tango with the um, iron giant. Hmm? Hmm. 
Sounds good. And, um... Oh, uh, I see. You you sh you do have to fall down there because there is no other way. You have to fall down there to pick up that item. Ah, this is gonna hurt. I think I'll survive, but it's going to hurt anyway. Weep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You heal yourself, onion boy. Thank you. It's the sniper crossbow and some sniper bolts. <laughs> Hello, I am the crossbow of redundancy. That dealt a lot of damage. I'll take it. <laughs> right, run, chunky, uh, chunky onion boy, run. Right. Are you the crossbow of redundancy? Well, it is now. <laughs> right. Now, I shall kindle this bonfire. Uh, can't kindle while hollowed. I need to reverse my um, hollowing first. I have become human. My huge manatees were restored. I will kindle the bonfire. And I'm down to nine huge manatees. Which is not a good number. I need to boost that up to 10 again. And what else can I do? Not much of anything. I'm probably going to regret wearing this armor all the way to the boss and past the boss fight. And, uh, well, if I can beat the boss. But... In any case, I shall make my way back up to that fog gate. Actually, I'm gonna go across that fog gate. I'm not going to cross the fog gate. I'm going. Okay, you know what? No. English is just too hard at this point. I'm just gonna go with. I'm gonna summon Black Iron Tarkus. And then we're gonna go and um, kill the boss together. Because uh, Black Iron Tarkus is a good boy. He's one of the best boys in this game. And he doesn't invade you, like the person who wears his armor in Dark Souls 3. Because that person is an ass. Oh, it doesn't see me. Okay. Cool, then I shall avoid him as well. And... Unlock, please. Use cage key. Yes. <laughs> so then we can take that elevator down, which goes down into that very narrow passageway that you came into the... Uh, it's the Onion Knight armor, Salty. Come on. <laughs> there they are. Okay. That's the boss fight, but before we get to the boss fight, we're going to summon a friend. Hello, friend. Iron Tarkus. Come to me, Black Iron Tarkus. Actually, this is one of the exploits you can do. After you hit the summon uh, button, you run across the bridge and you go into the fog gate before he summons. That way, the um, boss will have less health. But we shall not be cheaters this day. This day, I'm going to let Tarkus def um, defeat Astral. No, actually, I'm not going to. Alrighty. <laughs> Go on, Tarkus. Do your thing. Yes, get us across this bridge, shall we? <laughs> Looks like that guy has fought Tarkus before. <laughs> Oh, 
fuck's sake. <laughs> Even with the summon, I can defeat the dude. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Here's the humanity. Reverse the hollowing, yes. I hate people who come back to places that they've been and gang people. That's... It's not cool, man. Not cool. You wanna gang people? Go gank the ones that are right in the, the same area that you just got into. Oosh. <laughs> okay. I don't know why people... Of all the places that you could go and invade people, why the Sen's Fortress? It's like... The area in itself is already a bitch to get through in most, um... For most people. So why are you being that extra bit of an asshole invading? Just... Stop! Especially people that you know are not as good as you. That's not cool. <laughs> That's totally, totally not cool. Run, fat onion boy! <laughs> okay. Get my souls back. And my huge manatees, more, more importantly, nine of them. And let's try this again, shall we? We shall summon Tarkus, and I'm gonna go across the bridge, but not into the thing. Not even going to run. Yes. Ooh! We can summon a friend. Is this... No, it's not the asshole that um, ganked me. So I'm gonna summon him too. <laughs> because I too am a sun bro, so I shall ask for his help. See if he shows up. Right. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna let the boys do their thing. You missed. <laughs> oh no, he didn't actually. <laughs> Hit that leg! <laughs> Hit that leg! <laughs> ah, I didn't fall. Yes, you can actually make the boss fall all the way to its death. <laughs> No Tarkus! No Tarkus! No Tarkus! <laughs> Be careful Tarkus! You're gonna die! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and Tarkus survived! Yes! <laughs> oh man, that makes me all the happies. Um, Tarkus always dies uh, whenever I try to come here. <laughs> I'm so happy he survived. I genuinely am. Thank you, Tarkus. Thank you, Ringwraith. So, with that out of the way, let's see some anal rodeo, shall we? Bit of a hiccup there. Oh. 
And we have reached the anal rodeo, or an Orlando, as it's uh, more commonly known. Uh, thank you for the follow there, Glass Castles. Uh, very, very much appreciated. Uh, but, hey, wouldn't you know it? I couldn't have timed this better if I tried. One hour, one episode to get through Sense Fortress. How about them rodeos? Well, I can tell you that next time it's probably not going to be uh, that easy. Because anal rodeo is, uh... It's a big jump in difficulty, even compared to Sense Fortress. So, tonight, I shall leave you with this beautiful, beautiful uh, view of the anal rodeo. And I shall uh, ask that you join us tomorrow uh, at around 8 p.m. GMT is when we have um, Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. Which, of course, uh, is that show that brings you all of the Linux news. On um, on Thursday, Jordan will be doing... Oh, you can see a thing that's waiting for us down there. Um, on Thursday, Jordan will be doing his own stream of something. On uh, Friday, Ven will be doing uh, the Friday Night Foobar. And of course, Saturday is Linux Gamecast Weekly Day. So, don't forget to um, stay frosty. And thank you. Join me again next time in the adventures of... I'm going to stop doing that now. I'm just going to wave and say goodbye, everyone. Have a good one. And don't forget, praise the sun.